Hi, my name is Justin Orndorff, and I'm going to talk about a periodization schedule regarding throwing week to week. And it's never been more difficult to understand really what you should be doing week to week. And we should always abide by how our shoulder and our elbow and really our body's feeling to kind of guide us on our decision making week to week. Okay, but what we're going to assume here is that we have a healthy thrower who can recover adequately, generally within 48 hours, where the body goes back to its natural resting range of motion. There's no soreness week to week. Okay, so that's the protocol that we're going to assume here, and we're going to try to make this very, very simplistic. Okay, so periodization basically is what to do and when to do it each week okay now my good friend Paul Nickerberger has a term which I'm going to use here called we just called buckets okay so we're gonna basically break down each week into two main buckets okay here's bucket one and here's bucket two bucket one is filled with anything throwing wise that you do at max intensity and bucket two is anything that you do throwing wise at submax intensity okay now each week in bucket one you get two options bucket two you get more than two options okay so as you begin that week just know that you're gonna have two days where you can basically spend two of those options on what you want to accomplish but what takes and what should always take precedent and you have to ask yourself is do I have any games on the schedule? If there's games on the schedule and you got two games to which you're scheduled to pitch in, there are your two options in bucket one, and then you're done for the week. Everything else that week is gonna be facilitate recovery, work on skill development at a submax intensity. If there's no games, great. Then you start to ask yourself, what are your goals? Okay, so now if I want to work on, I'm a position player, I want to work on carrying a ball at a further distance, maybe that's long toss, then I can start to take two days out of my week, I set aside, I'm going to spend two of my options on a long toss regimen to kind of get me sharp. Okay, if I'm a pitcher, I've been struggling with command, I don't have any games on the schedule, well, I can use those two days on a bullpen and do whatever you need to do to facilitate that goal. Okay, during the week, after you spend these two options, again, you got your submax days, which could consist of low intensity throw-ins, which could still mean light bullpens, flat grounds, okay, to where you're basically helping always to do really good here. Okay, so just remember, over a seven day period, I got two options, okay, that I can spend. Outside of those two, you start going to option number three, option number four, well, you start running the risk where that demand that you're placing on that shoulder and elbow may start to uh, get in the way of proper recovery, okay? So we're gonna assume basically that if I threw a 50 pitch bullpen or I threw 45, 50 pitches in a game, that I'm gonna probably need about 48 hours of recovery to get back to where then I'm eligible to pitch in a game or high intensity bullpen again. Now this is ideal, and we know it's not always realistic, okay? But especially for the youth population, where there's just no point to have all these extra demands on the shoulder and elbow while you're growing, just be safe and just know that you got two options as it goes week to week. Now at DVS Baseball, we start to give more specific guidelines as it relates to, oh, I woke up that day my back is sore. What should I do? I got a game Friday, it's Wednesday. What am I eligible to do? Okay, and we can help provide more specific guidelines as it relates to then scheduling your lifts, scheduling your band routines, whatever it may be. But just remember, if you're going to play the game of baseball and you want to be available and you want to be healthy, games should always be paramount. So if you're trying to squeeze in additional stuff to think that your arm, your shoulder is going to benefit from trying to get stronger during the week, 
you always got to remember you got to be you got to have proper recovery to facilitate the proper function to be able to perform in a game. So this is Justin Ornuff and we've just gone through a very simplistic periodization schedule that can help guide you week to week. Thank you.